The world loses 650,000 infants to birth asphyxia every year. India alone leads the chart with 150,000 deaths in a year. Therapeutic hypothermia, induced by cooling the newborn baby to 33.5 degrees centigrade for 72 hours, reduces the risk of death and major disability. It has been proven to be the only medical intervention which prevents brain damage due to birth asphyxia. The challenge is to find a safe and affordable cooling device that makes the treatment available to all. Mira Cradle Neonate Cooler Mira Cradle Neonate Cooler is a passive cooling device for newborns suffering from HIE. It uses the advanced save phase change material technology to give precise temperature control of 33 to 34 degrees centigrade for a period of 72 hours with minimal manual supervision and no requirement of constant electricity supply. Phase change materials are special thermal energy storage materials that store or release large amounts of thermal energy at a particular temperature while changing phase from solid to liquid or liquid to solid. Cradle Save FS29 Save FS21 Conduction Mattress The main component of Mira Cradle Neonate Cooler is Save FS29. It freezes below 29 degrees centigrade and melts above it. There are three units of Save FS29. All three units need to be stored in the bottom part of the refrigerator at all times. It takes approximately 6 to 8 hours for Save FS29 to freeze. Save FS29 should be stored at the bottom part of the refrigerator and not the freezer. When a baby needs to be cooled, the charged Save FS29 is taken out from the refrigerator and placed at the bottom of the insulated cradle. Make sure that the Save FS29 is hard and rigid by touch before use. Do not use it if the PCM is not completely frozen. The cradle fits in the bassinet of a regular infant warmer. It provides insulation to the PCM, helping its effect last longer. Save FS29 is to be used only when it reaches a temperature of 23 degrees centigrade. The indication will be a bluish-green color at 23 degrees centigrade. After taking it out of the refrigerator, it takes 10 to 15 minutes for Save FS29 PCM to reach 23 degrees centigrade. Switch on the radiant warmer at a 100% output. The temperature of Save FS29 will reach 23 degrees centigrade within 5 minutes. Once the temperature of Save FS29 reaches 23 degrees centigrade, place the soft gel-based conduction mattress over it. This helps in conducting heat from the baby to the PCM and also provides a soft surface for the baby to lie on. The conduction mattress needs to be stored at room temperature and not in the refrigerator. A thin, clean bedsheet is placed over the conduction mattress. The baby is placed over the bedsheet. A rectal probe is inserted 3 to 5 centimeters and connected to the multi-parameter monitor to measure the temperature of the baby. Temperature alarm limits of 33.2 degrees centigrade and 33.8 degrees centigrade is set on the multi-parameter monitor. The warmer is used in the switched off mode. There are three critical phases in the 72-hour hypothermia treatment. Let us look at them one by one. Step 1. Inducing hypothermia. When the baby is placed in the mirror cradle neonate cooler, the PCM starts extracting heat from the baby, thereby reducing the temperature. Within 30 to 45 minutes, the temperature of the baby drops from 37 degrees centigrade to 33 degrees centigrade. If the temperature doesn't drop below 34 degrees centigrade within half an hour, introduce two units of Save FS21 between Save FS29 and the conduction mattress. 
Make sure that the Save FS21 is hard and rigid by touch before use. Do not use it if Save FS21 PCM is not completely frozen. When the temperature reaches 33.6 degrees centigrade, remove Save FS21 and place it back in the refrigerator. It usually takes 5 to 10 minutes for the temperature to drop with Save FS21 PCM. Save FS21 PCM freezes below 21 degrees centigrade. It is to be stored at the bottom part of the refrigerator. FS21 PCM is to be used only when the temperature of the baby is not dropping below 34 degrees centigrade. Step 2. Maintaining hypothermia. Once hypothermia is induced, the temperature of the baby should remain stable between 33 to 34 degrees centigrade for a period of 72 hours. The three units of Save FS29 lasts for 72 hours, but one needs to be careful and monitor the temperature regularly. If the temperature of the baby is drifting above 33.8 degrees centigrade, introduce Save FS21 PCM as shown before. If the temperature of the baby is drifting below 33.2 degrees centigrade, switch on the warmer in manual mode at 10 to 20% output level. And once the temperature reaches 33.5 degrees centigrade, switch off the warmer. Step 3. Rewarming phase. Rewarming has to be done with the warmer switched on in the manual mode at 20 to 30% output level. The target rewarming rate is 0.2 to 0.5 degrees centigrade per hour and the temperature needs to be checked every hour. Do not take the baby out of the mirror cradle neonate cooler during the rewarming phase. Remove the baby only once the temperature reaches 36.5 degrees centigrade. The newborn should now be kept in a normal open care system 